join in. Hello, I've turned my volume up on my phone. Hopefully that helps and I'll be talking louder. My video this morning, I was being very quiet because I didn't want to wake anyone else up in the household. And if you're watching, I've got my Ganesha shirt on. Ganesha, the remover of obstacles. So I'm gonna focus on removing any obstacles that we need to remove from, whether it's in our own being or just in the world right now. So Jay Ganesha. <laughs> All right, come to a comfortable seat. Start out just getting nice and still and grounded. And uh, I've got my cats with me now, so they might be joining our video. You might see them, our practice that is. You might see them walking in and out. So I like to uh, sit on a pillow for my comfortable seat. Helps me to prop my hips up, get a taller spine, a little more comfortable in my body. You could also have your seat be kneeling, whatever gives you the most comfort here. Rest your hands on your thighs. They could either be palms down or palms up, maybe resting in the lap. If you have a particular mudra you like to work with, feel free to take that. I'm gonna place my hands down right now just to feel a sense of grounding. I think that's very needed right now. And um, especially me, I've been all over the place, <laughs> moving about and unsettled. So taking some time to just connect, connect to your own body. Connect to the earth, feel that connection as much as you can. So if you don't have the ability to get outside and really like plant your feet into the earth or be in nature or hug a tree, <laughs> we can use these practices to get grounded. So by getting quiet and still, connecting to your own body and your breath and really just letting the mind clear can help you find this grounding position as well. So once you're in your comfortable seat, close your eyes. Take a few moments just to feel your body and just observe how your body feels right now, where any tight areas might be, if you're carrying tension, stress, and what is going on in the mind as well. What emotions are you carrying right now as well? And let's see if we can just have a nice cleansing practice here this morning clearing out the emotions that want to take over, clearing out any stagnant energy, any stiffness, any stress that's being held in the body as well. I know I'm feeling it. So just relax, relax the shoulders, but feel a nice lift of the spine as well as a lift of your heart here. And let's start out taking some breaths together. Some deep, full breath in through the nose, Open mouth, exhale. Let's do two more of those. As you breathe in, slowly draw the breath up your body. Feel an opening and expansion to your lungs, your diaphragm. Open mouth, exhale, and just release any tension, any stress in your body. One more like that. Full breath in, opening, even opening up your heart. Open mouth, exhale, and just let go. Let go of anything you need to let go of. And now let's focus on breathing internally, in and out of the nose. Long, deep breath in. Slow the breath out internally in the body now. And take a few moments here just to breathe in and out of the nose. And go at your own pace. But see if you can slow your breathing down. Slower than what your normal rhythm is. We tend to have a shallower breath, especially when we feel times of stress and unease and fear. We get more tense, our breath gets more shallow. So it may feel like you're forcing yourself to breathe deeper, but we need that right now. Sometimes we need that force to conquer what the mind is telling us, to conquer that virus of fear. Take control and bring yourself to a slower breath to a place of peace within. And just keep reminding yourself that this is all gonna blow over. We'll work through it. We will work through it, as challenging as it is and as awful it may seem. All we can do is our individual part to stay safe, to be mindful, practicing mindfulness even more now, but really, really, really just to stay present in your own self and keep practicing bringing light into your being. 
bringing peace into your being so you don't get overpowered by the fear. Take about three more nice, deep, slow breaths in and out of the nose and just feeling yourself calm, feeling the peace within and awakening your light within. Go ahead and open up your eyes now. Let's bring the arms down to the ground by the sides of the body. If you're sitting up on a cushion, you can stay or remove it at any time you want. Reach the fingertips away a bit and feel that your shoulders draw away from the ears. Then lift a little taller through the chest and the spine. Feel a gentle activation of the low belly so we support the spine with our navel strength. We're gonna move with breath a little bit here. Inhale, Flip the palms up, reach the arms wide, up to the ceiling, palms touch. If you need to, bend the elbows for your shoulders. And then exhale, spread the arms wide, bringing the fingertips back down and feeling as if you're really touching and connecting to the earth, stabilizing. Inhale, nice wide open arms, chest tall, arms come all the way up, palms can touch if that works for you. Exhale, reach the arms wide, slowly bringing the arms back down. Keep it going here. Move with the breath, slowing the breath and the movement. Inhale. Feel this opening to the lungs, the ribs, the diaphragm, the spine. Exhale. Spread wide. Relax as the fingertips touch the ground. I'd like you to close your eyes and move through three more sets. Big breath in as the arms spread open. Reach up to ceiling, connecting the palms at the top. And as you exhale, arms open, bringing the hands to touch fingertips to the earth. Two more rounds. Close the eyes and just really get in touch. Your body, your breath moving together and just feel all that you're feeling. Any tension, move through that. Feel the opening you're creating in your body and feel this connection you're creating right here and now. Present moment connected to you and your breath. Complete this last round, and then the next time you inhale the arms up, pause for a moment at the top, and as you exhale, twist to the left, bringing the left fingertips behind you and bringing your right hand to your left knee or thigh. As you inhale, lift taller through the chest and spine, and as you exhale, press against your thigh to rotate into a deeper twist here. Each inhale, lift and lengthen a little more. Each exhale, deepen this twist. Draw the navel in as you rinse out internally. Three more rounds with breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, deepen your twist. Two more rounds. Inhale, draw the belly in as you exhale into a deeper twist. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, arms come. Exhale, twist to the right. Pressing down into the ground behind. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, press against the front thigh. Right shoulder draws back, deepening the twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw the navel in as you deepen your twist. Ooh, I just got a nice crack. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, deepen the twist. Two more rounds. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. This time, interlace your fingertips together. As you exhale, press the hands up towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulders away from spine. Next, inhale, draw the arms back. Lift the chest a little more. You might even arch a little bit here. And then exhale, curl and round. Hands press straight forward. Tuck the belly, tuck the chin, and move your spine behind you to the back wall. Inhale, lift up. 
Lift the chest, draw the arms back, and exhale, navel in, chin in. Round your spine and press the arms forward. Keep moving with the breath as we make or create this opening now to the upper chest and arms. And then into the spine, lower and upper back. Moving with breath, three more. Deep breaths in as you lift. Deep breath out as you curl, pressing through the arms and back. Two more sets. As always, you can go at your own pace as slow as you need. If you ever want to move a little quicker, feel free. Encouraging you to find deeper breaths and slower movements, though, so we can really slow everything down right now. Good. Next, inhale. Bring the arms back up. And as you exhale, sweep the arms behind your body now and either interlace your fingers together. If that's not accessible, you can press your hands on your low back with the palms facing away. If you have a towel or strap handy, you can use that to grab onto. And feel free to go and grab that and then come back. Whatever your grip is, if hands are on the low back, you're just going to open up the chest. Try to draw the elbows back and feel that opening of the chest and shoulders. Otherwise, you're gently moving the arms away from the spine. Keep a gentle tuck of the chin, long neck. Lift the spine and just continue breathing here. Let's go ahead and tuck the chin all the way into the chest and feel that nice stretch into the back of the neck here. And then start to move side to side with the head, bringing one ear to one shoulder. And you can either switch side to side or maybe hang out on one side for a couple breaths. So we'll take a few or several, several rounds of breath here. Take any movements you want. You could even do some gentle twisting side to side, moving the head around or just staying still. So just kind of explore and do what feels good in your body. Goal here is we're opening the chest and shoulders, staying tall through the chest, and then releasing through the neck as well. Two more deep breaths. One more deep breath. Good, and now slowly start to bend forward. Now, if you're able to keep your bind, keep your bind as you bend forward. This will increase the opening of the shoulders. If this doesn't feel good in your body, go ahead and release the arms down to the ground and move into a forward fold this way. Stretching through the spine now and into the hips, relax the neck and the jaw. Again, you can either keep this bind as you continue to deepen or you can release the arms. Big breaths here. One more breath. And then slowly lift your body back up. Everybody, bring your hands down to your knees. Soften the shoulders, lift the chest and spine. And then just roll the shoulders up and back a few times, loosening up through the shoulders. Let's do that in the opposite direction as well. Nice. All right. Let's come up onto hands and knees into a tabletop position. Like the hands directly underneath the shoulders and make sure you spread your fingers wide. Anytime you're on your hands, you want to give that strength and support through the hands to support the wrists. And rather than sinking into the arms, press down through the arms. So you're building some strength in upper body just right here. Navel in, so you're creating a nice long spine here. Back of the neck is long as well. So try not to crank the neck up or drop it down. Just feel a lift of the back of the neck. And then pull the low belly in. As you inhale, cow pose, lift the chest, pull the shoulders back, and let the low back sway as much as your spine allows. Exhale, curl and round, tuck the belly, tuck the chin. Again, we're pressing the spine to ceiling. Same movements we just found seated for the back here. Inhale, open up. Exhale, curl and round. Cow and cat flow here. Keep going, again, at your own pace. Each inhale, open up the chest. Each exhale, curl and round. Draw the navel in deeply. Let's do three more rounds here. Connect to your breath. 
Breath to movement, create a moving meditation right now, fully present and engaged with your movement and breath. Last one. Come back to neutral, press strong through the arms again. And then as you inhale, open your left arm up towards the ceiling. If there's any shoulder pain, keep your hand to hip and then work the shoulder open that way. Otherwise, arms straight up and feel the rotation from the ribs and the spine here. Take a breath in. Listen up. As you exhale, thread your top arm underneath. Bend the right elbow, but don't touch the ground just yet. Hover the left shoulder off the ground and just feel the twist and feel the strength supporting. I'm going to do three more. Inhale, open up wide. Exhale, thread under without touching your shoulder to the ground. Find your range here. And two more. Inhale up. Exhale, thread under. Don't touch down just yet. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, thread under. This time, go ahead and rest your shoulder down to the ground. Relax the left side of your head to the ground. And then you can either just keep that right hand on the ground and continue to open up the right shoulder or maybe reach the right arm up and wrap around your spine for a half bind. Keep breathing. Anyone that wants an extra challenge, try reaching your right leg straight back, maybe even lifting the leg off the ground a bit. This will challenge the balance. Keep a steady breath. Two more breaths here. Last breath. Slowly replace any legs back down. Bring the right hand back down. And then open your left arm to the ceiling with a deep inhale. And stay here on your exhale. And now keeping the left arm up to the ceiling, extend your left leg back and press your foot on the ground. So I'll face you. This is what it's going to look like. It's a modified side plank. So you want to press your left leg straight back to the back of your mat. Press the pinky toe side of your foot into the ground as much as you can. Make sure the right hand is under your right shoulder. Fingers spread wide so we're not torquing the wrist. Then open the chest nice and wide. So if you're feeling really wobbly, move your right foot back a bit and that will give you a little more stability here. We're going to do that same expression we just did. Inhale, draw the left arm back and open any amount. And exhale, thread your top arm under your body and just feel that deep rotation of spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread under. We'll do three more. If anyone wants a challenge, lift your back leg and keep it up the whole time. This will challenge your balance a little more, getting some core strength in. Two more rounds. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. Last one. Next time your left arm reaches the ceiling, stay there. So option to stay with the back leg down just as you are. Just press strong into right side or float the left leg up if it's not already there. Let's reach the top arm overhead. I know you're losing my arm here, but you get the idea. Reach out from your fingertips all the way out your back heel. And just breathe, right arm pressing into the ground, navel in, strong back leg, full breaths here. Your leg could be down at the same time, just feeling a nice deep side stretch. Nice, some of you might stay here for three more breaths or some of you might bend your back knee and reach towards your back foot, opening the chest. You could grab on if that's accessible and open as much as you want. Two more rounds of breath, everyone. One more breath. Nice and slow as you inhale, top arm overhead, extend the leg again. And now we're going to take a little curling motion to come back down to hands and knees into your tabletop position. Good. And then open the right arm this time. Pause and first just circle out that right wrist from being on it. And a few in the opposite direction. Oh no, I think my cat might knock my phone over. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to keep this right arm lifted. Curiosity killed the cat. 
Okay, inhale, open the chest wide. Exhale, without touching right shoulder down, thread the needle, bend the left elbow, and just hover the right shoulder off the ground. Pull the belly in. Here we go. Inhale, back up and open. Nice wide chest. Exhale, thread under without touching yet. And if your hand is on your hip, you'll just do the motion with the upper body. Inhale, open. And exhale, curl. Two more rounds, everyone. Inhale, open. Each time, a little more range of motion. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. This time, go ahead and rest the right shoulder down, right side of the head to the ground. And either press into the left arm to open deeper into the twist, or maybe left arm wraps up and around your spine here. Keep breathing. Breathe into any areas of the body where you're feeling this. And then any of you that took the leg, it would be the left leg that extends back and maybe even lifts off the ground. Steady, stable breaths, especially if you're working into a challenging variation. One more breath. And then everybody release any legs, bring the left hand back down. And then inhale, open the right arm and stay as you exhale. So coming into the modified side plank, turning your body towards the right side, press and extend the right leg back. So face you again. You want to have the right foot down on the ground, pressing the pinky toe side down. So really strong leg. Make sure the left fingers are facing the left side. Your wrist is under shoulder. Press strong into the bottom arm. Open the chest wide. And if you're feeling wobbly, move the left foot back a little bit there to create more stability. As you inhale, draw the right arm and chest open. And as you exhale, thread the right arm underneath your body and just feel that rotation in spine again. Moving with breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread under. If there's any wrist issues, you could be on your forearm doing this, if that's accessible. Or even on a fist, if the wrist is getting too much pressure. Do two more rounds, everyone. Moving with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, on your Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Next time you reach the right arm up, stay there, and then reach your right arm over your head. Find that deep, deep side stretch again. I didn't cue this side to lift the right leg, so hopefully if you did that the first side you did. If not, you can lift it now. Press strong through the right leg, toes flex forward. Press strong through the bottom arm. Keep your chest open and breathe. And again, you might stay here. Your leg could be down, or you might bend your back knee reach towards the back foot, possibly grab on, and then just open. Breathe deeply here, wherever you're at, find your fullest expression and opening in your body. Fullest breath you can manage. One more breath. As you inhale, extend your arm and leg long. Take that little curling motion back to hands and knees into your tabletop position. And let's move into a child's pose. Open your knees wide, big toes touch, shift your hips to heels, slide the arms forward, and connect your forehead to the mat or a pillow. If your shoulders are tight, just keep a bend of the elbows. Otherwise, just really stretch out the body and now tune into your breath. Fill up the back of your lungs as you inhale. As you exhale, soften your chest, your heart towards the earth. If your forehead is connected, draw your attention deeply in. And while we're in this posture, just feel a sense of connection, grounding to your body, to the earth. Feel safe, feel stable. Two more breaths. All right, now just slide your elbows back and press up onto your forearms in a tabletop. So we want the elbows directly underneath the shoulders. 
Hips are right over the knees again. Press down strong through the arms. Pull the low belly in. We're gonna step into a forearm plank here. So one leg at a time, step your body back. So we wanna keep the hips lifted, belly in. For extra support, drop your knees, but try not to stick your tail back. Keep the hips slightly pressed down so you're engaging your core. The whole body is active here. The knees are up, firm the thighs. Look right down at the mat, feel that lift of the back of the neck and then energy out the crown of the head and out the heels. Keep pressing down through the arms rather than sinking here. Pull the navel in and breathe as deeply as you can. Activating a stronger breath when we're activating our body more. Try two more breaths. Drop the knees anytime you need. One more breath. Now right from here, keep your chest up. Slowly lower your hips. Release the tops of the feet to the mat and then lift your chest into sphinx. Make sure the elbows are underneath the shoulders so you might need to adjust. And if this is too much for your low back, slide the elbows farther forward, which will decrease the sensation in the low back. Pull the chest up, shoulders back. Draw your belly in so you're supporting the low back. You can either keep your head lifted or maybe find another neck stretch here by dropping the chin. Maybe even move the head side to side. So really breathing into the low back right now. Everything else can be relaxed, but the arms are strong, supporting this lift. And go ahead and lift your head back up. Take an inhale and exhale, lower down. Take a little break for your back by stacking your hands to make a little pillow. Either forehead to your hands or maybe turn to one cheek. If you need to release your back, you can shift your hips or maybe even do a little windshield wiper. Or maybe simply just breathe into the back to relax. Take a little pause again, feel the connection to the earth, to your body, and feel a sense of grounding and comfort. Go ahead and bring your hands back under shoulders. Now two options. Some of you will press right up onto your hands and knees. If you want more, tuck your toes under. Firm the thighs. Hug the elbows by the ribs. Body in one piece. Inhale, high plank. And let's all move into downward facing dog now. Good. So your knees could be bent here, especially if this is your first down dog of the day. Rather than straight legs and having this rounded spine, try bending the knees and see if that allows you to move your hips back and press stronger through arms so you feel a length of the spine. Then actively drive your heels towards the ground and work to straighten legs any amount. Keep the belly in, the ribs knit, neck relaxed, and let's pedal the legs a few times. So bend the left knee first and then switch other side. Move with the breath, inhaling one side, exhaling other. And just creating a deeper stretch through the backs of the legs. Keep the arms strong by pressing away from the ground. One more each side. And then settle back into down dog. Everybody take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Walk your feet forward coming to the top of your mat. Keep your feet separated about hip distance apart. Hang into a rag doll, grab the elbows and just release the spine. You can bend your knees any amount. So especially if you're high up, try bending the knees and let's see if that allows the spine to relax to give you a deeper fold. Let the head and neck relax, shake it around a bit. If you wanna sway your body side to side, feel free to do so. Keep breathing. One more breath. And then release the arms to the mat. So keeping the feet separated about hip distance. Now, if you have props like blocks and it's uh, you're kind of far from the floor, you can use your hands on blocks to be higher or just keep knees bent. Bring your right hand towards the center of the mat 
and either bring the left hand to the hip and twist or left arm to ceiling. Some of you might be able to straighten the left leg as you deepen the bend in the right knee, and some of you might keep both knees bent as you work this twist. Press away from the ground or block through the right arm. Open the shoulder. Now try not to let the arm fall back. Left arm straight up, but you're rotating the ribs and the spine here. If that left leg is straight, you're getting a nice IT band hamstring opening. And now breathe. Some of you might want to wrap the left arm around the spine towards right hip for a half bind. Relax your neck. Two more breaths here. Nice. Open the arm as you inhale and exhale. Release the left arm. We'll switch it out. Left hand to the center. Right hand can be to the hip or to the ceiling and both knees can stay bent or maybe you're straightening your right leg and bending the left knee deeper. Widen through the chest, rotate through the spine and ribs rather than letting the shoulder drop out. Top arm should be reaching up or wrapped around your spine. Relax the neck. Just keep breathing your body deeper. One more breath here. And then slowly release the right arm. Take a slight bend to your knees, tuck your chin in, and let's roll up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. The head is the last to come up. And let's do those shoulder rolls again, up and back. Once you're standing, just loosening up. Whenever you're in your Tadasana, your strong stance, you're welcome to have the feet apart if that gives you a stronger base, but just make sure everything's stacked in a line that you're not kind of in a <laughs> funky position. Otherwise, feet can be together. So we want our legs active. Feel your feet grounding down into the earth. Pull the inner thighs in and out and the navel in. Lift the chest and draw the shoulders down the spine. Let's all bring the hands at the heart. And as you press the palms together, lift the elbows gently. Feel the connection at the heart space, but also this bit of strength in the upper body. Just close the eyes for a moment. Eyes closed, or if that's too much, just draw your gaze down to the ground. Find a drishti or focal point. Together, we take a deep breath through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And now one breath like that in and out of the nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Go ahead and open your eyes as you inhale, sweep your arms up. Let's interlace the fingers together again and flip the palms. Draw the shoulders away from the spine. Tighten up the legs and belly, deep inhale. And exhale, bend to the right, keeping the left shoulder drawn back. See if you can stretch the hands away from the body like we um, did earlier when we were bending forward. Nice, equal weight in the feet, and now keep breathing here. Opening up through the left side body. Half moon. One more breath. And as you inhale, rise back up. And we'll switch to the left. Exhale, bend to the left. Again, press the hands away. Draw the right shoulder back. Keep the hips pointing forward, the navel in, and the legs strong. And then just breathe here. Find your depth. Keep the breath flowing. Try not to restrict your breath. And one more breath here. And as you inhale, rise up, separate the hands. As you exhale, take a cactus back bend. Draw the elbows back as far as you can. Lift and open up the chest. The hips and pelvis should stay strong rather than swaying the back here. So the upper body. Let's do two like that. Inhale, straighten up. And exhale, elbows draw back, open the chest. And one more, inhale up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Into your forward fold, release the spine. Now as you inhale, take a halfway lift, lengthen out the spine, draw the belly in. Exhale, step back into a high plank. Some of you, this might be your first high plank if you didn't do it earlier. Just like our forearm plank, we wanna find a strong, long line in the body. If you want support, just keep the knees down, but rather than having hips back, hips are pressed forward. Navel in, press through the arms, draw the belly into spine and keep breathing. If knees are up, strong active legs. Two more breaths, let's fire up this inner strength here. Fire up the heat in the body. 
the power of our mind. I hope my phone doesn't stop recording as it keeps giving me the alerts that my storage is low. So let's get moving. All right, inhale, look towards the top of the mat. And as you exhale, you can hop or step forward, fold. Inhale, back to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise back up, bringing palms to touch overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to create a, a flow through that whole sequence we just did. One breath, one movement. Inhale, arms up, interlace fingers, flip the palms, and exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, rise back up, and exhale, bend to the left. Inhale up, exhale, cactus arm opening. Inhale, right back up, and this time exhale, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, move through your Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank, or simply step right to your downward facing dog. Some of you might even just go to hands and knees as your resting place or your home base. Take a round of breath, inhale, and exhale. Good. And now keeping your down dog nice and strong through arms. Let's inhale the right leg to ceiling and really press strong through the back of the heel. As you exhale, bring the right knee to touch the outside of your right shoulder without touching the ground. Strong arms and the shoulders are shifting forward like a high plank. Inhale the right leg back up. And exhale, twist to the opposite shoulder now. Feel the rotation and the strength in your core. Inhale, right leg back up. And exhale, pull your knee towards your nose. Get as close as you can get. Pause there. Scoop the belly in. Take one more inhale. Exhale, step the foot all the way up between your hands. Bring your right heel directly under right knee, and let's lower the left knee down. So the more you move the left knee back, the deeper stretch you'll get in that front hip flexor there and quad, and then slowly sweep your arms up. Good. So if you're feeling wobbly, hug the inner thighs strong and press down into your feet. Feel a sense of grounding. Lift the chest and the shoulders down. Any low back pain, just keep your body slightly forward and the belly in. Again, let's interlace fingers as you inhale. And exhale, bend to the right and stay and breathe here. Again, opening up the left side. See if you can soften into your hips anymore. One more breath. And inhale, rise up, separate the hands. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Shift your hips back and straighten just your front leg into this half split. So hips should be right up over the back knee, working to straighten right leg. It might not. You might have a bent knee, but we're working the stretch. If you need to be higher, you can prop yourself to any props or be on the front shin. Anyone that wants to get deeper, you can just continue to lower your body toward your leg. Relax the neck. Soften the jaw. Breathe deeply here. Big breath. One more breath. Now return to your lunge, shifting the hips forward. Keep the left hand on the ground or you can prop it up on something and open just the right arm. So we come back into a nice wide twist, widening from the chest and rotating from the spine. Nice. And then some of you will keep your back knee down or tuck the back toes and lift the left knee. Notice if that right knee falls open. Squeeze the inner thighs and then rotate deeper. Low belly in. You could even wrap your arm around your spine and feel a half bind. Keep strong through the left arm. Breathe here. One more breath. I'm gonna face you this way. And then everybody open the right arm back to ceiling. You could always have your hand to hip. Let's all lift, uh, actually, excuse me, if your back knee is down, you can keep it there and come back to the side plank we did earlier. If your back knee is up, you can try stepping right into your side plank. So the right arm will still be up, the right leg will meet the left, and we're feeling a stronger sensation through that left side, stronger activation. If you have a variation of a side plank, feel free to take it. Maybe you lift the top leg, a tree. Some of you might be able to grab the big toe. <laughs> Breathe, we're developing our core strength, full body strength here. One more breath in. And as you exhale, come back to your high plank and either move through your chaturanga or skip it. Go right to down dog 
or maybe you end up on hands and knees or child's pose. Do what works in your body here and breathe. All right, strengthen up the arms again. We'll switch it to the other side. Inhale, left leg to ceiling. Press strong through the heel in the back of the leg. As you exhale, pull the left knee forward outside the left shoulder. Keep the arms strong, belly in. And then inhale, the leg lifts back up. And exhale, twist to the opposite shoulder without touching the ground. Inhale, left leg back up. Exhale, knee to nose and stay. Bring the shoulders right over wrists. Try to bring the knee a little higher. Take an inhale. And exhale, step your foot all the way up between your hands. Stacking, aligning the left knee over heel. Lower the back knee down. You could keep toes tucked or release. Once you feel stable, slowly sweep the arms up. The more you shift the hips forward, the more you'll get in that right hip flexor. And if you're wobbly, feel that squeezing in of the thighs, pressing down through feet. Interlace fingers, inhale the palms up. Exhale, bend to the left. Really use the breath here. Feel the length, the stretch, the opening all the way through the right side. Do your best to keep the right shoulder back. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then inhale up. Exhale, release the hands to the ground. Shift your hips back. This time we're straightening the front leg again, the left leg this time that is. And again, if you need to be higher up, if you've got some blocks, you can use them or pillows or hands can be on the shin, maybe even the thigh. Your knee might not be all the way straight. And then also allow yourself to go as deeply as you like if you're a little more open here. Relax the neck, the jaw, and just breathe deeply. Just keep breathing out anything you need to free yourself from, mind and body. Keep yourself present right here in this practice. Receive the practice. Connection to you and breath. Good, one more breath here. And then we'll lift your body back up, shift back into a lunge so the hands come around the front foot. And then keeping right hand down, open the left arm so we come into a wide twist. So again, you could keep the right knee down or you can tuck the right toes and lift the right knee up. If you're lifting the knee, firm up the right thigh and keep hugging the left knee inward, navel in. And then feel the rotation by opening the chest and the spine. Feel the strength into the right arm. Breathe deeply here. Good, one more breath, oh, should cue that. Maybe the bind if you did so other side. And then <clears throat> we're stepping into our side plank. So we're still facing the same direction you're facing now. You can keep the back knee down, extend the left leg back, or the back knee is up, you'll lower the heel and maybe step the left foot to meet the right. Bringing a lot of strength through the right arm, the right side obliques, open the chest wide and any variation you might have Test it out. <laughs> Breathe here. Hope you're all having fun. <laughs> One more breath. And very slowly back to either high plank or hands and knees. You can move through your chaturanga flow or you can skip a chaturanga flow and just meet back in a downward facing dog. Once in down dog, take a couple deep breaths here. Strong arms and legs. Good. Look towards the top of the mat as you inhale, come to your toes. As you exhale, bend your knees. Now you can try hopping or walking your feet back forward. Inhale, come to a halfway lift or a flat back, shoulders back, and exhale, fold forward. Always you can soften the knees here. And as you inhale, rise up to stand, bringing the palms to touch overhead. And exhale, hands at the heart and soften the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And come into a chair pose now. Bend your knees. Sweep the arms up. Any shoulder issues, you could have wider arms or lower or hands could be at the heart. Now chair pose, we don't want to tuck our tail here. We want to move the seat back as if we're trying to sit in a chair behind. That brings all the weight into the heels, activating glutes. 
takes the weight out of the knees, scoop in the low belly that will support the spine. Wherever the arms are, shoulders are down away from the ears. Breathe here. Two more breaths. Good, and now slowly sweep the left arm down and back, right arm reaches forward, and we come into an upright twist. Now notice if the left hip moved back, keep the left hip forward, pull the right hip back. Good, and keep the knees together, and then work the left shoulder back. You can stay right here, or maybe bring the right arm outside the left thigh and see if you can open up the left shoulder more. Pot optional half bind. Breathe deeply. Keep the strength of the legs. Feel the twist, the cleansing. One more breath. Keep your chair pose. Inhale, arms lift back up. And exhale, fold forward, release your spine. Right away, inhale, stand up again, arms to ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna go right into the left side, bend the knees, back into chair. Arms, hands can be at heart or overhead. Move the weight deeply into heels. And this time we twist to the right. <clears throat> right arm moves back, left arm forward. Work the right shoulder back as the left arm reaches forward. But notice if that right hip is twisting back, pull it forward, navel in, and feel the strength of the right obliques here. Deepen into your chair. If you went deeper, left arm places outside right thigh, and then working to open up right shoulder more. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. Maybe a half fine if you did other side. Keep your chair, inhale, arms back up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale back to your flat back, halfway lift. And exhale, either move through your Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering high to low, or go right to down dog. Inhaling to a cobra or up dog. And exhale back to down dog. Take a round of breath here, deep inhale, and a deep exhale. Again, inhale, lift the right leg high. This time as you exhale, step the foot right up between the hands. Keep your back knee lifted, but at any time you'd like, if you prefer, the knee could be down. Stabilize through the inner thighs and slowly rise up to a crescent lunge. Lift the chest, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing the inner thighs will help stabilize the legs here. Good. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, we're going to twist to the right again. So right arm moves back, left arm moves forward. So challenging our balance and strengthen the legs as we open up the upper body. Keep breathing. Any issues of shoulders, hands could be at the heart. We're starting with the body upright though. One more breath. And then inhale, arms sweep back up. And exhale, open up to warrior two. Keeping the right knee driving forward, press the right thigh open. Want to feel that same strength through the pinky toe edge of the back foot. Spread the arms open nice and wide. Let's move with breath here with flow. Inhale, straighten right leg as arms come up tall, like we did at the very beginning. Exhale, open arms wide and deepen into your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, arms come up. Exhale, deepen the lunge, pressing right thigh open. Feel the hips opening here. Two more, inhale up. And exhale. And last round, inhale. And exhale. Now hold the lunge, inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm sweeps up to go back, either straight to ceiling or behind. Keep a little weight in the back arm. You wrap around the half body. And notice if you bumped your left hip back, keep the hip forward strong into the legs. Feeling that burn in the front leg just means you're working. <laughs> and one more inhale. Keep the legs, exhale, extended side angle, body comes forward. You could rest your forearm to your thigh for support or reach down to the ground or a block. Open the chest wide, lengthen your side bodies. And the top arm could either be up reaching forward, or maybe wrapped for a half bind. If you've got a full bind, feel free to wrap the bottom arm under and just feel the depth and intensity. Keep breathing. One more breath, everyone. 
Now let's all inhale, top arm overhead. And if you want a little more challenge, bottom arm can reach too. And like we did earlier, as you exhale, we're going to curl the spine, round form. We're coming into a wide forward fold, turning the toes straight forward. So you'll be facing the left side of your mat here. And then hands will either be on the ground or blocks, maybe grabbing the ankles to pull yourself deeper. You can always have a slight bend of the knees if that helps. Relax the neck. And again, just open the spine and the backs of the legs. Deep breaths here. Two more rounds of breath. Enjoy the stillness. Allow the breath to open you up. Nice, come to a flat back again, fingertips on the ground, navel in, strengthen the legs. Then as you inhale, open the arms and rise back up. Exhale, return to your warrior two, rebending the front leg. And as you inhale, reverse your warrior one more time, stretching back. As you exhale, both hands circle back down to the mat into your lunge. As you inhale, let's open right arm into a twist. And anyone wants a little more challenge, you can step into that side plank. Take one more breath in. And exhale, flow through your chaturanga, or you could move right to your downward facing dog. Down dog, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg high. And exhale, step the left foot forward, coming into your lunge. Back knee could be up or down, depending on your um, purpose right now here. Inner, uh, inner thighs hug together, belly in, and slowly rise up to a lunge. Lift the chest, but shoulders away from the ears. Get the knees up, firm the back thigh. Keep the inner thighs strong. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. So right arm forward, left arm back. Feel the rotation of the spine, the navel drawing in. Arms are spreading wide. And just keep breathing here. Two more breaths, stay with it. One more breath. Inhale, arms back to ceiling. And exhale, open up to your warrior two now, bending the left knee deeply. Press the left thigh open, activating the glute, and then drive strong into your back leg. Arms are open nice and wide from the heart center out through the fingers. And now we move with our breath here. Inhale, straighten the leg as the arms come up. And exhale, back to your warrior two. So arms are just as active as legs. Inhale up. Exhale, deepen. Nice. Inhale up. Exhale in. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale, we hold the lunge now. Strong legs. As you inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm sweeps up to go back, bringing that deep side stretch here, breathing deeply. Good, one more breath in. As you exhale, extended side angle. Body moves forward now. Again, option to rest your forearm to thigh for a little support, but not too much. You still want to stay lifted and active. Maybe going closer to the ground. Chest is open wide, so you can keep these wide arms. Maybe arm overhead, options of a half, or a full bind. Strong legs, breathe deeply. Keep the breath flowing. Notice when your breath gets restricted and how can you keep that breath flowing? One more breath, everyone. We'll all open up again. Next breath in, top arm overhead, option of both arms. And as you exhale, sweep the body in this little round. Maybe you reach behind and interlace the fingers to take another shoulder stretch, a chest expansion. Some of you could even do a twist, one arm up, one arm down, switching it out. If anyone wants to go into a headstand from here, if you've got a strong headstand, you're not gonna kill yourself or hurt yourself. You can take either supported or shirshasana, I mean a tripod here. If you're on your head, arms are super strong, pressing down so you're not having too much weight on the head or the neck. Wherever you're at, three more deep breaths. Believe it or not, headstands are very grounding. <laughs> Good. 
One more breath. If your legs are in the air, bring them back down into your fold. And then everyone come to a flat back as you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, firm the legs and rise up to stand. We come back into warrior two, rebending the front knee. Inhale, one more reverse warrior, stretching back of the room. And exhale, circle the hands back down to the ground. And again, inhale, left arm up for your twist or optional side plank if you want to challenge yourself. Everybody take a breath in. Exhale, either right to down dog or hands and knees or through your chaturanga. Child's pose is always an option too. Breathe everyone, deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, look forward, come to toes. As you exhale, you can walk or hop yourself forward. Inhale to a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, bring the palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath in and a breath out. So we're going to create a flow through that sequence. We're going to do it all again, but connecting it one breath, one movement. So just follow along as best you can here, starting with our chair. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms high. And exhale, twist to the left. So left arm back and right arm forward. Right away, inhale, arms up, stay in chair. And exhale, twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Stay in chair, inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, either to down dog, you can hop or step and take your chaturanga flow. Breathe through your movements and back into down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee touches right outer shoulder, strong arms and core. Inhale, right leg high. And exhale, twist to the opposite shoulder. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, step the foot through between the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, twist to the right, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale, open up to your warrior two. One time, inhale, straighten the legs, arms up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Keep the legs, inhale, reverse your warrior, deep stretch back. Exhale, extended side angle, chest stays open. Next breath in, one or both arms can reach forward. Exhale, sweep it into your wide-legged forward fold. Take a breath in, deepen on your breath out. Inhale, stand back up, arms open. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior one more time. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Inhale, right arm to ceiling, optional side plank. And then exhale through your flow or right back to down dog. Breathe. Good, right away to the other side. Inhale your left leg high. And exhale, left knee touches outer left shoulder. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, twist to the opposite shoulder. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up to ceiling. And exhale, twist to the left, spread the arms wide. Inhale, arms back to ceiling. Exhale, open up to warrior two. One time, inhale, straighten legs, arms up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Keep your legs, inhale, reverse, stretch to the back of the room. Exhale, bring your body forward, arms stay wide, extended. Next breath in, top or both arms can reach. And exhale, circle the body into your wide-legged forward fold. Next inhale, stand back up, arms open wide. And exhale, back to warrior two. I think I should be the other side. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, bring both hands back down to the mat. Inhale, the left arm up, either twist in the lunge or side plank. And as you exhale, you'll move back through your flow, either through chaturanga or right to downward facing dog. Now take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you inhale, look forward again. Exhale, you can hop or step top of the mat. Inhale, back to the halfway lift. Exhale, fold and stay. Separate your feet about hip distance apart again. And then you can bend the knees any amount you need. We're going to reach down with our two-piece fingers and grab onto the big toes. 
So you want your hands facing inward, hooking inside and under the big toe. So again, if you need to bend the knees, if that doesn't quite work, just find a fold of your choice. Start with the breath in, lengthen spine. As you breathe out, draw your chest towards your thighs, curl the neck in, use your arms to pull your body in, and then with each breath, see if you can straighten the legs a little more. Make sure you're still breathing as you find the depth of your stretch. Two more breaths. One more breath. Release the grip from your feet and bring your feet all the way back together. Let's take that slow roll up. So bend the knees a bit, roll up through your spine, coming back up to stand. Roll the shoulders up and back, hands at the heart center. Take a two deep breaths just to ground back down through the feet, legs strong, navel in, and then a tall, light upper body. I'm going to work on a little balance here. So our drishti is our focus. So you want to focus either slightly on the ground or at a solid place in front of you. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling, shoulders stay down. Shifting weight into right leg, lift your left knee. So pull the low belly in to help lift the knee. Flex your toes, hug the inner thighs. Keep lifting up through the body. When we sink down, we lose that strength. Rise up. Calm breath here. Good, taking your own time, start to twist to the left without moving your legs at all. So opening the left arm, reaching the right arm forward. Widen the chest and keep hugging that left knee in. You could grab onto your left knee with your right hand for more support. And anyone that wants to get deeper, you could grab under left thigh, try straightening leg, or maybe even grab, hook the big toe with the right hand and extend the leg. Try to maintain the twist as you're working into your variation while focusing on balance. So there's several variations, so be with what works for you. You could even have the left toes on the ground, so you're focusing more on the twist. Two more breaths, stay with it. One more breath. And then return to the beginning, bend the left knee, reach the arms up, restabilize right leg. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, warrior three. So as you kick your left leg back, arms could either stay straight forward, come at the heart center, or reach behind and squeeze together. You could even take a bind here. So stabilizing the right leg, keep the belly in, keep the chest open, and then activate back leg. I know that right leg's burning, so keep breathing. One more breath. Woo! Slowly step the left toes down, come back up to a crescent lunge. Arms up to the ceiling. Take an inhale here. And exhale, hands come to the heart now, and we're gonna twist to the right, and you can stay up or bring the left elbow to right thigh. You could also drop the back knee and work the twist there. Otherwise, back knee lifted, inner thighs hug. Work the rotation, pressing against thigh. You could spread the arms wide, maybe take a half bind with top arm. Optional full bind. Left arm wraps around the thigh, fingers hook behind. Breathe here. Two more breaths. One more breath. And very steady, inhale, arms rise back up, crescent lunge, and exhale, warrior two, opening to face the left. Now straighten out your right leg. You might want to shorten the distance of the feet, bringing back leg a little closer and maybe turn the toes at an angle. Pull the hips up for a moment, lift the chest tall, pull the thighs up. Now keep your hips stable, inhale, reverse triangle without letting the hips move back. So it's just the upper body. Again, we're feeling that stretch through the whole right side. Breathe deeply here. Keep breathing. One more round of breath. Nice. Bring your body back up, arms open. Now shift the left hip back and reach as far as you can and move into triangle. You could have your hand to shin for support, a block if you have it, or closer to ground. Avoid rolling your body forward in order to get deeper though. If anything, stay a little higher, open the chest, and strengthen the side bodies. Spread the arms wide. Keep breathing. Your gaze could be up 
straight or towards the ground, whatever feels best on your neck. Stay with it, two more breaths. For the last inhale, option to reach both arms forward, a little more challenge, and then exhale, we rotate back to a lunge at the top of the mat. Now this time, everybody, inhale, right leg up to the ceiling, three-legged down dog, and pause. Stay here, or bend the back knee and open hip. You can circle the knee around a little bit. Stand back through that back leg, take an inhale, your choice. Exhale, right to down dog, or maybe move through a chaturanga. You could take a one-legged flow this time. Breathing all the way back to down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, uh, inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, hop or step, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, rise up to stand, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment again, ground. Back into your body, back into the earth, calm. Bring your mind here and present. And set up your drishti, that focal point here. Reach the arms up, keeping the shoulders down. Shift into left leg. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pull the navel in as you lift the right knee up. Flex the right toes. Hug the inner thigh so both legs are active. Upper body is lifted, elevated here, charged up. Keep breathing and then at your own pace, start to twist to the right slowly to not disrupt the balance. Keep drawing the navel in, hugging the inner thighs towards each other and spreading the arms wide. Again, toes could be down here. Otherwise, if you want to deepen, maybe grab the front knee. Maybe grab underneath the right thigh with left hand. Or you can hook the big toe, extend the leg, and then rotate deeper. Keep breathing here wherever you're at. Deepest breaths you can. One more breath, everyone. Slowly bend the front knee, reach your arms back up to the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Slowly kick the right leg back. Again, arms could be forward at the heart or reaching back. Keep the chest lifted open, activate the back leg, pull up through the left thigh and keep the navel in. Slow and steady breaths. Breathe into that working left leg one more round. And as slowly as you can manage, step the toes back into a crescent lunge. Lift the arms up to the ceiling. Nice. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, and we twist left. So again, you can stay up. You can always drop your knee, bringing the, or bring the right elbow outside left thigh. And then see if you can press against the thigh and deepen your twist. Keep breathing. If you spread the arms wide, try it out. Maybe a half bind, and maybe you're going into that fuller bind here. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Very slowly unwind the twist. Inhale, arms back to ceiling. Exhale, open to warrior two. And then right away, straighten out left leg. Give that leg a break. So again, we're coming into the triangle leg so you can shorten the stance as needed so you can keep the hips up, thighs up, comfortable distance, arms open wide. Without shifting the hips at first, inhale, left arm up and back, reverse triangle. Feel the stretch from the left fingers all the way down into the left big toe, pressing into the earth. Keep breathing here. Nice, one more breath. And then inhale, come back up. As you exhale, allow the right hip to shift back, reach forward with left arm, and then lower left arm, right arm to ceiling, triangle. Again, avoid rounding forward. Stay open through the chest, so that might alter how high you are. Then within that opening, you can deepen, keeping the chest open, arms wide, strong through the side bodies, fluid breath and do whatever your neck needs. If there's any tension, maybe look down. Feels better, challenging balance, you can look up. One more full breath. 
And then on the next inhale, option to reach top or both arms forward. And as you exhale, just return to your lunge at the top of the mat. Inhale, left leg up to the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Pause here. And then exhale, bend the knee, open up your hip. Maybe circle it around. This could be done on hands and knees as well if your arms need a break. Extend the leg straight again, take an inhale, and exhale either right to down dog or maybe through a chaturanga, maybe it's a one-legged flow. Breathe back to downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Nice, let's cool it down. Inhale, right leg to ceiling. Exhale, half pigeon, bring the right knee outside the right wrist. So the knee's on an angle, we get into the outer hip. Right foot comes forward to a comfortable level. And as you drop your left knee, slide the hips back. You can stay right here or start to walk forward any amount. Here's where some props could come in if you have pillows or blocks to relax the upper body. And if this variation of a hip opener doesn't work in your body, either a seated pigeon, right foot on top, or a figure four, right foot on top, maybe grabbing under thigh. Wherever you're at, just close your eyes, tune in, and breathe, breathe, breathe. Deep, slow breaths. Again, we want that slower breath right now, so we encourage the body to relax. Release from tension and stress. And especially when we open up our hips, this can have a, create a vulnerable feeling because our emotions get stored here. So if you're feeling a lot of emotions lately, some fear, anxiety, you might be really feeling that here in this posture and that's okay. This is the place, the time to let it go, to free yourself of that. And just return to the feeling of peace and light. Trust and faith that all is going to be okay. And then just slow the breathing down. Let's take three more breaths on this side. And then slowly lift your body back up. We're going to stay right here. Shift onto the right hip and sweep your left leg around to an angle out to the left. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. And as you exhale, turn towards the left leg and reach forward. Janusha Shasana. So if you can grab your toes, do so. Ankle or calf. If you have a towel or strap you can use. Or try even bending the knee, which might enable you to grab a little better and really stretch the spine here. We're working to bring the right side body towards the left thigh. And then allowing the chin to tuck in, bringing the forehead towards the knee. Breathe deeply into your body here. One more breath. and then lift your body back up. Place your right hand to the ground behind your right hip. One option is just to lift the left arm, lift the chest, feel like the slightest back bend, or you can press up onto the front knee, reach the hips forward and reach the left arm back and just feel a nice stretch, open back bend, open into the front body. One more breath here. And slowly return to your seat. Take your time to bring yourself back to a downward facing dog. If you want to move through a chataranga flow, go for it. Otherwise, just press it back. You could also stay on your hands and knees or your back if you're there. When you're ready, switch it to the other side. Left leg lifts 
and then bring the left knee forward and open, coming into half pigeon on the left side here. Sinking into the hips to a comfortable point for you. And if you have pillows or props, you could use that support under the left hip or underneath your upper body as you come forward. Again, you can do this seated or on your back. See how it feels to close the eyes right now, to really just tune into your breath, into your body, and just observe where you're at in your mind, your emotions. Continuing to free yourself of negativity, anxiety, and fear, and just continue to draw in peace into your being. Peace and lightness of being. If you can hear the music, I'm keeping it fairly low. We've got the mantra Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha going. It's a chant to Ganesha. So again, Ganesha, removing obstacles. So what are you removing right now? What are you cleansing yourself from? What intentions are you putting out there to help bring our world back to a safe and peaceful place? about three more deep breaths on this side. When you're ready, slowly come back up through the upper body, shift onto the left hip and sweep the right leg around to a slight angle. Inhale, arms to ceiling and exhale, rotate your body towards the right leg, reach forward into Janusharsasana. Again, we're working to stretch through the left side of the spine and the side body. So pulling the left rib cage down towards right leg. You can always bend the knee here or use a towel and a strap. Relax the neck. Soften your jaw. Allow your body to open by breathing here. One more breath. Lift your body back up. Place your left hand to the ground behind your hip. You might just lift the right arm up and lift the chest or press into the back arm. Shift forward onto the front uh, left knee. Press the hips forward and reach the arm back and feel that stretch of the front body. A bit of a back bend here. Deep breath. And slowly return to your seat. And then staying here seated, extend both legs out in front of you. Give yourself a couple rocks side to side. Lift your arms to ceiling with a deep inhale. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Again, you can bend the knees. You can use a towel or a strap or grab on where you can and just soften. Relax the neck. Soften your jaw. Elongate the breath. Allow your body to move with the breath. And then lift your body back up. Bend the knees just a bit so the feet are on the ground. Grab under the thighs, squeeze the inner leg, and lift the chest and spine tall. Scoop in the low belly and keep squeezing the inner thigh. So just a gentle activation of core. Reach the arms forward, but resist rolling back. So that's done by lifting chest, squeezing thighs, belly in, and breathe here. Keep drawing the navel in. Keep lifting up through the spine. Just a gentle activation, that low belly scooping in. And then as slowly as you can, start to curl your body down. So starting with the lowest part of the spine, tuck the tail, belly in, and lower as slowly as you can. Try to keep the thighs together, lowest vertebrae first. 
Uh, and once you're on your back, hug your knees to your chest. Couple of rocks side to side, massage out the low back. You can stay right here rocking or move into a happy baby, either grabbing the feet, calves or backs of the thighs, or even holding the knees. Opening wide, try to keep the low back down and your upper body relaxed. Gentle rocks here, opening the inner hips. Sorry, Buddha, I just kicked Buddha. And keeping the low back grounded here. Feel free to straighten out one leg and the other or both. And then draw your knees back in. Wrapping the arms around the knees, bring your forehead up towards your knees, scoop in the navel. Give yourself a nice tight, tight hug. Feel your own love within you and know that you're loved from everyone that's here right now and, and an energetic connection. Deep inhale, exhale, release into your final posture. Whether that's a Shavasana, whether that's a seated meditation, could be legs up the wall, Supta Baddha Konasana, whatever brings you into a place of stillness and relaxation in your body and stillness in your mind. Let your entire body relax right now. If you're in a Shavasana, let the hands turn up to the ceiling so we fall into this open, receptive mudra. Receiving this practice, receiving peace and light. Eyes closed, attention drawn in. Allow your breath to slow down again. Release your body of any tension and release your mind of any thoughts. Just allow yourself to be fully present right here and now, completely engaged with your breath. Following this gentle breath, this healing breath, this soothing breath as it moves within your body, bringing you peace, bringing you light, and bringing you healing, mind and body.
Jay Ganesha, removing those obstacles, doing our part to free ourselves from any negativity and fear and anxiety. You can just come to a place of peace within, staying calm, staying connected, compassionate. Deepen your breath and start to reawaken your body and your mind. Bring some gentle movements in, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Circle out your ankles and your wrists. Gently move your head side to side. If you're lying on your back, stretch your body out into a full body stretch, arms back, legs forward. If you happen to be seated, just bring the hands at the heart center. Take a deep breath through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. If you're on your back, roll to your side, drawing the knees to chest and rest in fetal pose for a moment. And everybody just take this moment to observe how you feel from the practice, any shifts that this practice brought into your being, into your mind, into your emotional state. And see if you can keep this with you as you move out of the practice, as you move back into your day. And then everybody come back up to a comfortable seat, hands together at the heart, pressing the palms together, lift the chest, draw the shoulders down, gentle tuck of chin. I'll close our practice creating the sound of Om, which is this sacred sound that creates a sense of unity, connecting us all together at this energy level, this conscious level. If you'd like to join me, please do, or just receive the sound. And inhale to prepare. Oh. Feel that sound right within your heart. And then draw your hands from your heart between the eyes, connecting the third eye. We're drawing our heart connection to our minds so we can be guided more from our hearts rather than being driven by that mind, the ego, the fear, the doubt. And then let's honor each other at a deep level, at a soul level. Let's honor the divine love and light within each of us and just send out healing vibes, vibes of peace, vibes of connection, that we're all in this together. Namaste. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. At one point I looked at the clock and I just thought, oh my God, I'm running way behind. This class is gonna be so long. And then I thought, what do we have but time right now, <laughs> right? We're not rushing to work. We're not rushing to you know, get to the next thing. So why not take a little more time to be in this practice, to be in this present moment? So keep practicing. I'll keep sharing these practices with you. Keep in the light, keep in the love space. Let's support each other in any way that we can. And if you'd like to help support me a little bit in this time, if you want to send over a donation, you can send me a Venmo at Jennifer Goodman 1111. You could PayPal me as well, Jennifer Goodman 1111 at gmail.com. If you have Zelly, Chase Pay, it would be that same um, email. You can always shoot me a message if you want to find another way or just ask questions about it. Otherwise, just receive the practice. May it bring you peace, may it bring you light and love. Namaste. Love to all.